as you've seen, we've got some incredibly bright students with us today. But have you ever noticed that museums are kind of dark? They're dark because light will damage objects. In much of the same way it'll burn your skin, light over a long period of time will damage the objects that we have here in the museum. And so we make the cases a little bit darker than the areas around you in the museum. Uh, so you can see the objects still while you're in the galleries, but your eyes adjust and then we lower the light levels. With spacesuits, because they're very bright white, we don't have to put much light on them in the museum because they will show up very nicely, which is a benefit to our collection. But we use these little light meters and we can go around and take readings of the actual light levels and we record that and we, we calculate that over time uh, using a math formula. Then we can tell how long where it's safe to leave our objects on display and if we have to lower the light or we can increase the light over time. And we did an experiment with just a piece of uh, construction paper, put a little piece of cardboard over it, and I taped it into a window for a couple of weeks, and the light really changed. Xavier, do you want to peel yours off and show everybody? This is per You can see where it was purple to begin with. The sun hit around that triangle. You can really see how it damaged the paper. But we're going to have you all create a little demo that you can take home tonight and put in your house and see if there's light coming in that could potentially fade posters or pictures you have on your walls. So you guys have got some construction paper in front of you. You want to cut it into like a couple of squares and then cut out whatever shape suits your fancy and tape it, tape it onto the, the square that you've cut and then you can take it home and put it in your uh, window and wait a few weeks and you can see the color change. All right, why don't you guys go ahead and make your uh, your light viewers there. Okay. And teachers, as you take down your bulletin boards for the year, send us those pictures of the remnants of what was up there so that we can see how light affected your classroom. What do you think would block the light? What do you think would help your objects from not fading in light besides putting it in the dark? Like what, Screen. right, you can put screening materials over your over your patch, what else, do, what else do you put on your eyeballs when you go out into the sun? Sunglasses. Right, so those shades and those screening materials are there to keep you from the UV light coming through and penetrating your eyes. And what do you put on your skin when you go to the beach? Sunscreen. Right, so we have some conservation materials like I've told you about where we're actually incorporating sunscreen into our coatings uh, for aircraft, for example, on display outside where that's going to protect it further from these UV damages.